All right, today on Redneck Engineering, we're gonna take an old, worn out, or no longer functioning UPS for a computer. We're gonna convert it into a machine that can run your laptop off of, say, a car battery or solar panels. So it's pretty easy. When you think about it, the UPS is really, um, Got all the uh, electronics, which is kind of hard to build yourself. We're converting DC current into a suitable form of AC current that you can actually use for sensitive electronic equipment, such as a computer. So I'm just going to pop this screw on the bottom here. If you didn't see what I was doing, it opens a little hatch that releases the battery. Battery is usually what breaks on these. Now, if, if some other part failed on your UPS, then your SOL. But the battery itself, you can just remove it, and uh, this is recyclable lead. You can take this to regular scrapyard. They'll pay you by the pound for it. Um, you can save up a bunch of these. Uh, you can actually get some money back. I was thinking of putting an ad on Craigslist to. Um, to buy some of these uh, UPSs and then uh, just uh, you know like for five bucks a piece you know if people are, hey you got a broken U UPS I'll give you five bucks for it whatever and uh, using a series of these with uh, like 180 watt uh, solar panels that's kind of expensive but uh, uh, inverters are kind of expensive as well if you actually buy inverters so anyways uh, this model is um, it says on the back here, it's uh, 180 watts actually. Some, some models may be a little bit less, but this is a pretty good one. Uh, so to finish off this thing, let me go ahead and remove the cover. I mean, and I've already done this step, I've cut the power cord here. Uh, we won't be running AC wall current into this thing anymore. Uh, we'll be using that functionality of the machine. But what we will do, is we'll take the DC wires that were connected to the battery, there's a black one and a red one on here, and I'll pull those through, and cut the attachments off that they have on here, and then I'll solder on uh, my own uh, probably micro clips or something. Anyway, once I cut the end of these wires off, I'm going to run these wires through the same hole that the, uh, the uh, AC wire went in on. And so then I'll have these wires hanging out. Then I can attach my uh, you know, a little bit longer leads and, and uh, like I say, jumper cable uh, clamps would be perfect because then you can just clamp it right onto like a car battery. Uh, if you wanted to actually use it inside your car, then you're, you would might want to um, solder on uh, connections. Um, so you can like plug into your cigarette lighter um, would be convenient. Um, but for the solar panel configuration, I'm going to use uh, jumper cable uh, clips, and then I'll use a an old car battery and clip onto the car battery, and then um, tie my solar panels into the car battery as well. And that way, uh, the battery can act as a buffer whenever like a cloud goes over or something like that. I can still have continuous power out of this thing. Uh, it doesn't run a lot of power, but supposedly it's, you know, it's a UPS, so it would be enough to run a computer or laptop, or you know, 180 watts would be plenty enough to run a few lights or a stereo or whatever like that that you might want to run. Don't know about a TV, maybe a small TV, maybe a little bit much for this thing to handle running a whole TV. So anyway, this is a cheap way to go. It's cheap, uh, cheap little uh, power inverter to save your old broken down UPSs. 